what's up guys Sean back with another my 600 pound life video and we got something a little different we're gonna do some crazy meals today because this is my favorite part of the show I love to see just how much they eat and then I get to be in denial and pretend that I didn't eat like crazy or eat out all the time when I was 600 pounds when I know I did I just I don't think I could keep up with them I mean they're eating like competitive eaters half the time and I really don't think I was eating that friggin' much. I know I was polishing off some bacon and some eggs and all that, but I don't think I was eating six flapjacks, man. And maybe two. Maybe two, but I don't think I can keep up with them. But I, let's see what they're eating. Yeah, it's usually friggin' nuts on this show. Like I should be doing, but then I wake up and I give in right away. My 600 pound oh, life features dolly. no shortage of insane recipes. And over the past few months, we here at Plot Twist have been going over some of the best Damn. and worst meals that we've seen on City Buffet next to me wouldn't have went out of business if they had this guy on the show. I get one of those. No. Well, with 10 seasons to choose from, we found even more wild meals in <laughs> unjustifiably large portions. So subscribe if you haven't already for more great content like this. So I yeah, only that. get up for limited things, really. The main one being to cook. That's one of my passions. Julian Valentine weighs over 800 pounds at the start of filming, and it's easy to see. Damn, I think I would have been 800 if I didn't have to get up and go get my own food. Half the time, these people are getting brought food. But he's standing and cooking. That's better than half the people. What's he cooking? Like? T.Y. The man is a self-professed master chef, and cooking is Maybe one of either. the few joys he has in life. I would have to say that my favorite meal that Julian cooks for me, salmon when he cooks it in butter, and then he makes asparagus next to it and Brussels sprouts. Interestingly enough, his wife, Irma, describes her favorite meal he makes, and it actually sounds pretty healthy. If he made meals like- Bro, that don't look like no salmon and Brussels sprouts. And Come on, stop the cap. This guy's got a whole baked potato. I just watched her give him a piece of steak. She's feeding this man. Is she a feeder? No, I'm kidding. He's the feeder, right? He's the one cooking. She ain't that small herself. She's a thick girl too. So she's eating all right. That he might not have ever reached his current weight. He's very good at making meals that taste good. The dynamic right now is that he makes whatever he wants and that's what we eat. Unfortunately, it's clear. Bro, this man's caked up too. He makes me jealous, man. I got a flat ass. Clear that he does not make the healthy food all that often. And Irma even says that they basically eat whatever Julian feels like cooking on that particular day. I wait until around 12 o'clock to eat lunch and then I'll snack until dinner. But I feel the best meal of each day is usually Bro, the first. Let's count the pancakes real quick. There's like six of them suckers there and they ain't regular pancakes. Them's the thick boys. That's the freaking Cardi B of pancakes. Look at that. This guy's eating good. The food itself that Julian makes constitutes a typical breakfast. You know, pancakes, bacon, eggs, that sort of thing. But look at how much food he's actually making. And I'm laughing because I had that same damn pan. I I'm starting to wonder if that little copper pan is like a fat boy staple. This is just how he starts his day. Julian also says that he has lunch at noon and keeps snacking from then until dinner. Everything is such a struggle. It's just pay Oh my God, why was this man face down ass up on the ground? Did he drop an Oreo? Doggy style on the ground is a crazy way to wake up. Painful to move around right now. As is the case with most stars yeah, of this buddy. show, even the most basic of daily tasks can lead to extreme pain and exhaustion. And David is no exception. My back hurts, my knees hurt, my feet hurt. The only thing that keeps me going is all the food we just bought. While out and about. At least he's walking around the store. That's better than I, I can say I did. I was curbside pickup all the way. You want not get my big ass to waddle down them aisles. Out, you can see how the simple exercise of walking around has completely wore him out and he needs to make multiple stops throughout the trip. After being pushed to my limits, I usually need something immediate. Hi, can I get... Bruh, that's the van you tell your kids to stay away from. That's a creepy looking van. I'd be afraid. What's that dude? What's that clown dude? I can't remember his name. I'd be afraid he's going to pop out. It, the guy from It, Pennywise. I'd be afraid that's his friggin' van. Two number fours. And uh, let me get one more double 
bacon western cheeseburger. Tired and in pain, David says that he needs something to help rejuvenate himself and makes a pit stop at the fast food joint on the way home. <laughs> That's a fat boy move right there. Carry 10 bags in one hand so you don't gotta make two trips. I've definitely done that. Wow. <sighs> <sighs> I'm scared Careful, that David doesn't have an internal motivation. At this point, Robin comes over and brings a whole smorgasbord of food and drinks just for David. It Bro, ain't nobody was bringing me food like that. I had to go get it. But don't you think they could at least make it like a physical activity? You think we could play hide and go seek with cheeseburgers? Because if you put him around the house, I bet he'll get up and move around and find the burger. I just found a new way to get these people to lose weight. I'm a friggin' genius. It's typical fast food fare, and it's just the insane portioning that earns it a spot on this list. Food is more than just a pleasure. Oh, it's God. my reason for existing. I can't wait for the- I know Dolly the frickin' chicken ovary obliterator here. This chick was eating 15 eggs, and I know that because I just did the full episode on her. I haven't been able to look at eggs the same since somebody told me when you eat an egg, you're basically eating a chicken's period. And you're welcome if you're about to eat breakfast. The first bite of something that will make me forget about all the misery of my life. How many eggs is too many eggs? Trick question. There's no it's such thing, cheese. at least to Dolly. While cooking breakfast for her and her best friend, Dolly uses 15 eggs just for the two of them. Bro, this chick is a danger to all chickens. They might boycott Dolly the way she's freaking killing off their kin. Oh my god. Oh my god, Dolly. I'll take an Italian cream one too. Yeah. I can't believe she had to have that. <laughs> my mom tries to make me get more fruits and vegetables and meats. Later, Bro, why not just buy the whole cake? Why is she going piece by piece? That's definitely the way to add up to the friggin' bill if you're 600 pounds and eat 60 pieces. That just don't seem rational to me. While at the supermarket with Shanine and her mother, her mother is clearly dismayed at the food she's buying. Dolly's food addiction is sad if you really think about it, it because is. that's been like a best friend most of her life. Her mom was actually a saint in her episode. Like she was trying to help her. She just didn't want to hear it. And you have to want to do it for yourself. You got to have it in you because no one's going to do it for you. But her mother was trying her damnedest. And then she ran off with some crackhead. While her mother is frustrated, she admits that her daughter is battling addiction and that it's truly heartbreaking when you stop and think about it. At this point in my life, I know that I am uh, killing myself with food and I know that it's an addiction. My worst fear is that I die and my daughter lives on and she wonders what life could have been like with me. That makes me mad because I just know she ditched her daughter and ran off with some guys like back to back. She just kept leaving her with her mom and she's going to sit here and my fear is, no, your fear is that you're not going to have someone else to take care of her. You didn't take any responsibility and that makes me mad because I really want kids. That was like a driving force to losing weight. Mom, I will not let that happen to my daughter. Later on, Dolly herself admits that she has a problem, and we all know that the first step to beating addiction is admitting that you have a problem. Good morning. Bro, I would pay good money to see somebody try to get in a lifted truck at 600 pounds. I could do it, but just barely. I think it would be really funny to watch them try, because I'm a little taller, so I could get my butt up on the seat and slide in. I don't think they could. I think it would be friggin' funny. And who drinks that big a mug, buddy? Friggin' serial killers? I see, used to see them at 7-Eleven all the time. I wondered who bought them. I figured it out. Good morning, Mom. What would you like for breakfast, darling? Ryan, age 31, has been living with his mother, Tammy, and her boyfriend, Leroy, for the past few years. Every morning, Tammy makes Ryan breakfast, and this morning, Ryan Damn. wants a lot to eat. A couple breakfast burritos, some sausage and bacon, and a bagel. Sausage why not just give him half a freaking pig? He wants it all anyway. Bacon? Yeah. Bagel, cream cheese? Please. This is a lot of food, but the reason this clip is on the list isn't because of the food itself, but rather the way Ryan describes the process of eating. When I eat, I never want to stop, and I never feel like I have to, because I've never really felt like I was full. By the time that I finish the meal that I'm eating, I'm already thinking about the next meal. Here's the crazy thing is I used to eat till I was stuffed every single time and it took the surgery to teach me like, hey, no, there's a point you're just supposed to stop. You don't have to eat till you're stuffed all the time. 
And I think that's the best thing that happened to me because I never used to stop. Like there was, I had to be so full, I couldn't take another bite. Like when I'm eating breakfast, I ask my mom what we're having for lunch. Later on, Tammy brings home some takeout and you can see just how much Ryan eats compared to the rest of the family. But it still does depress me at times. The fact that I'm 31 and living with my mom. So I just eat to forget about it and not think about it. But that's what's oh, killing hell. me. I, might I thought one tray was a lot. Buddy's got what two maybe three is that a lid or another one that's crazy this dude's keeping stofers in business for real count he's got three trays of lasagna oh, and a seemingly endless supply of sauces and or soups while Tammy and Leroy only have a single container a piece coming out of the basement is probably the hardest thing I do all day so I usually only go up once and then when I go back down that's it for the day after Trust me, I know how that feels, and I know how taking it one step at a time feels. It's sad, but you can't even go step, step. You have to go step, 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 step. I was right there with you, buddy. After leaving his parents' basement and heading upstairs, Mike begins his day by ordering breakfast. Like a lot of breakfast. What can I do for you? I got a pretty big order. So the first one, I'm gonna get the Lumberjack Slam Pack. Uh, one of those ultimate omelets. Order the cinnamon roll pancakes. Will there be anything else? The double moons over my hammy sandwich. And then to drink, I want, I, want, I want two chocolate milks. If that sounds like a Bro, this is all for him? Holy shit, he, he should be on the freaking wall at IHOP ordering like that. That's got, they gotta have like a number one customer plaque and just put him up there, man. He deserves something for that. Although people ask me all the time like how they afford to eat like this, and I'm like 99% sure TLC pays for all the food while they're filming. And I mean, it would make sense, right? They're gonna order like that when they can order like that because it's all free to them, so huge order that's because it is take a look at all of it laid out on the counter yeah. chinese tonight Oh, good. His mother and father bring him back some Chinese food for dinner at the end of the day. As you'd expect from a man that can eat that much breakfast, he has a Bro, look at how many sauces he has too. That's a lot of Chinese food, but he already messed up. He didn't get any crab rangoons. Those are like hands down the best. A little bit more for dinner than his parents do. When it comes to food, it's my comfort and my addiction. Most of the entries on this list are about the quality of food being eaten rather than the food itself. Bianca throws a wrench into that with her dinner plans, but let's start with breakfast. Baby, there's some more pancakes left? No, no, ain't no, ain't no more. You ain't getting no more. Buddy, she's stabbing that like it's fitting to get away from her. The food will still be there. Chill out. Mm. He slow down. Slow down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For what? <laughs> Bianca lives with her boyfriend, Ramonte, and the two had weight loss surgery a few years ago. Ramonte was able to- Bro, would you just look at them poor kids? They're sitting there like, mom, please stop. We want to eat too. Oh my God. Keep his weight off. As you can see, it's normal enough breakfast, but that won't be the case for dinner. Mmm, butter bread. Ramonte is back on the stove making well, I don't even know what you would call this. He starts by removing garlic bread from the oven. I like his energy to keep it real, but who puts pepperonis on spaghetti? Is that something I've been missing out on? Is that good? And putting it at the bottom of the plate and pouring some spaghetti on top. Yeah, I know you want to hot sauce too. No, I don't want a hot sauce, I want ranch. Apparently that's dinner. I like that dude though. He's like the black version of Salt Bay. <laughs> she seems to like it though, as they have two very full plates while her two children eat considerably less. There isn't a moment where I'm not craving something to eat. No matter what I'm facing, food will make it better. Nathan begins every day by making breakfast, and you can see that he's loaded up. When I'm eating, it's euphoric. It's like this feeling of relief from whatever negative emotion I have going on. I mean, that's typical addict speak. Like, it, everything's better in that moment, but it just makes your problems worse and worse the further you go, but it's kind of sad to see. At that time. And so even though a meal like this will make... Oh, look at the dog. He's praying for a freaking scrap. And that is a fat wiener. Would you look at that thing? Oh, my God. You think he's... Uh, he, he's got to get some scraps. He's a thick boy. Me yeah. really full? I'll keep eating and eating. The former theater teacher makes two whopping plates loaded with sausage, biscuits, eggs, and bacon. Hey. Hey. Thank you for picking up the food. Welcome. His wife, Amber, brings home takeout for dinner, which isn't bad on its own, but she does talk about how much his eating habits disgust her. He would eat his food. He would eat an appetizer. Who, the who are you, lady? You're 50 pounds from him. 
You're knocking on the door yourself. Both of you are playing tag with the Grim Reaper and ain't nobody a sprinter. So I don't know why she's on this high horse. We would have a dessert. He would eat my leftovers and it would make me just absolutely just disgusted. When Nathan decided he didn't want to try and lose weight anymore, I told him I was disgusted with what he was doing, and I basically told him he was an embarrassment. Listening to how he oh, normally stop. eats is easily enough to justify a spot on this list. Bro, that lady, I can't believe that she's throwing one. I was so disgusted, I was disgusted. She's eating the same stuff. Just because he takes a couple more shovels than you don't mean anything. But this is just crazy to see, like, I was eating pretty much the same crap all the time they are. But I don't think I could keep up with them on the, like, capacity they were eating. Because I would eat, like, two pancakes, maybe a couple eggs, some bacon. I wasn't polishing off, like, six flapjacks, a whole thing of Jimmy Dean, and a pack of bacon. Like, I wasn't hanging with them. But, I mean, that's how you get to 600 pounds. If any of you want to know how to do it, you eat like that. But, alright, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you later. Peace.